hi guys welcome to the java class in today's session you will learn what is parameterized constructor how to use it and what is the advantage of using it in java programs so if you will see and observe this program that we have done in the previous video so in the previous example we have created a class car that contains some variables this is the default constructors that is no argument constructor and this is a method which are displaying the information of a car. And in that test drive class, that is the main class, we have created many objects and initialized the default constructors that we have done in the previous video. If you have not watched that previous video, please watch it first. Then it will be easy to understand this example. So let me just change the name of the package. So as we are learning the parameterized constructor, so I will use the para parameterized constructor. So you can see compiler is complaining because this package is not present. So I will create this package by fixing the error. And here you can see the package parameterized constructor is created. Now inside we have a car class. This is the constructor. What is parameterized constructor? So parameterized constructor is a constructor that takes some parameters. So how will you add the parameters inside it? Just simply you will add the parameter, for example, the string m and the integer y for the year, right? And I will just remove this part and I will just write model value is equal m and the year value is equal y here, right? So this is your parameterized constructor. So I will write here, parameterized constructor, right? So this parameterized constructor we have added, rest code is the same, but what will be the change here? So now if you will come, this is the car class guys, you can see, if you will come to the main driver class that contains the main method. So here the compiler is complaining. Compiler is complaining what the constructor car is undefined. So now we don't have a constructor. That is a default constructor we don't have, right? We don't have the default constructor. So you can add some values, some parameters inside it. You can see the parameters we have Two parameters one is of string type second one is of integer type right so you can pass some parameters inside it now so whenever you will pass some that is a model number like for example toyota i will write this is a toyota camry right i will write and you can provide the year of manufacturing 2002 right so you can see the compiler is not complaining now and because you have passed the compatible parameters inside it. So here, let me just show you how it is working. So if you will see here this part, right? This part, if you will see, so whenever you will create the object of this class car, right? And this part, so this constructor, this constructor will call automatically. You know very well the constructor called automatically. No need to call explicitly. When the object of a class will be created, the constructor will call automatically. And this value Toyota Camry will go in the value M and this 2002 well will go in the Y here, right? And this will assign the values of the model and will assign the values for the year. For object my car one, right? So this is the process it it will work right so now now i'm just making this line as comment and i'm just removing this part and here now you will see what is the output of it so you will just run it and you will see the output you will see the car model is toyota camry and year is 2002 so this is the beauty of default sorry not default this is the beauty of the parameterized constructor where you can pass the parameters and your parameters must be compatible means the first parameter must be a string type 
the second parameter must be of integer type you can't pass some you can't you can't change the order of it if you will write for example 2002 here and i will remove this from here right here you can see the compiler will again complain it so you are passing two parameters that is good but they are not compatible their order is not perfect the first value you have to pass of string type the second value you have to pass of integer type that must be compatible you can't do like that so just whenever you will pass some values please just focus on this part also right so this is about the parameterized constructor in the similar way you can create another object also and you can pass another values here like for example you are passing on the civic right and you are just passing the year for example 2008 so this is the another value you are passing for the next object my car 2 so my car 2 will contains the value for the model is this one and the value of the year is this one and whenever you will run it it will display a different information the car model is this one the year is this one so in the similar way you can create multiple objects you can pass multiple model values multiple model years and this is the constructor only that will automatically initialize your instance variable if someone will ask you why we are using the constructor in the programs so sometimes there is a situation or in somewhere else you need to initialize your instance variable during the creation of the programs so you can add the constructor in your programs right so this is the advantage of using constructor and this is why we are using the constructor in your java program so this is all about your parameterized constructors so in the next class you will learn the new concept of the constructors so right now i hope you understand this part and you enjoy the video thank you bye bye we'll see you in the next class good night